what would you suggest uh, for people to do who have done all of the right things uh, in preparing? They've gotten their credit straight. They've gotten their, you know, the necessary monies that they need for down payment. They know what they can afford. But then all of a sudden, the home of their dreams is no longer affordable. <laughs> And, you know, that's happening a lot <laughs> across across the country. I know a few friends of mine moved from California to... Yes. And so they paid a lot more than what a local will pay because for them, like 300K is way cheaper than a mill in California. Yes. Um, so, <laughs> so it's happening a lot. Um, so my... And, I've, and I've, I've had this question from a few people that are frustrated that when they're trying to buy a house, like there's so many people that are bidding, they're not winning the bids. Um, and so my suggestion would be to look where other people are not looking. Um, I don't know. I think it's maybe Dave Ramsey that says like you have to get what you want, you have to do what other people aren't doing. Right. Um, and so a lot of the times, uh, home buyers don't want to, um, do extra work. So mm -hmm. if you're having a hard time finding a place, consider looking at places that need some work. So, um, don't look at the shiny the house that's perfect and brand new. Look at that same block. Look at the house in the block that's ugly. The house that's missing a roof. That's house that the house the house is missing a uh, hiding. Because most home buyers aren't going to want to deal with that. So if right. you're willing to deal with that, then you have a better chance because now you're not competing with 99 percent of the people. You're competing with one percent. You're right. competing with the few amount of home buyers that are looking to put in some sweat equity and investors but since this house is going to be for you you're willing to pay more than an investor so you're more likely to get that house um and there are loans that you can get that can help you with um renovations even if you're a first-time home buyer so my oh. first house needed a full gut renovation it was an fha loan three and a half percent down all the renovation costs were included in the mortgage so there are options for you as a regular home buyer to buy a house and fix it up you just have to be willing to put in the work but when right. you do that you definitely will have a lot less competition for sure. I think a lot of people just don't realize that there are uh, loans available for you to be able to do renovation. I never knew about that. Mm -hmm. And um, when I was looking for homes, I was always looking for a home that was already pristine in the condition that I wanted it because I, I didn't have cash available to go in and say knock out a wall or you know add you know put an addition on but it's good to know that though there are loans out there um that a person could qualify for if they're really willing to do some uh, upgrades um yep when they buy uh, so yeah the fha version of the renovation loan is called a 203k loan Oh, okay. Um, there's two versions. One version where I think it's if it's under thirty thousand, you can do the work by yourself. If it's under, if it's over that thirty thousand, you need a contractor. And then uh, for and there's no cap to how much you need to fix it. <laughs> okay. So I okay. think I, I added like ninety thousand to my loan. I never knew. I just never knew that those loans were available. I I thought that in order to get those types of loan, you had to be an investor. And uh... <laughs> nope. Uh, the difficult. conventional version is called uh, the home style loan. So either okay. one of those loans you can use as a regular first time home buyer. Even wow. if you're single. 